A hundred percent natural is great when it comes to the food that we eat. It isn't good when it comes to mitzvahs. It isn't good when it comes to our service to Hashem and to other people. The Tanya today concludes chapter 15. And it's a theme I absolutely love where the Alter Rebbe explains more important than the end result of the report card is the journey, is the process. And for every person, the process means to struggle and to challenge yourself. And the Alter Rebbe discusses the rare individual who actually has an easy time doing all the mitzvot in the Torah. They are naturally disciplined. They naturally do not have a strong yetzer hara, evil inclination. And they kind of do what's right on cruise control. And you might think, lucky them. And the Alter Rebbe says, no, if that person is not constantly challenging themselves, they cannot truly be called an Oved Elohim, one who serves Hashem. The Alter Rebbe brings a fascinating example. You know, in Talmudic times, there weren't so many books on the shelf. There was the oral tradition, but it was not yet recorded. And so the Talmudic study was up to their minds to remember. The Midrash, Halacha, so many areas of Jewish study were not in the books. It was only passed down orally. And as such, it said it was standard procedure for each person to review their teachings 100 times. I know today you study something a third time and you get bored. They would review it 100 times. But the Alter Rebbe says that was normal. What was the one that showed you truly were a devoted student? It was that 101st time. And in fact, it was the 101st time that was more valuable than all other 100 times because that was when you truly went beyond your comfort level. He gives an example from economics in those times when the donkey drivers would typically drive people around town. It was about 10 miles or 10 parsas, and you would have to pay one zuz to go those 10 parsas. But as soon as you went to an 11th parsa, all of a sudden the rate doubled. You know, it's almost like someone was telling me in New York when uh, you go out of the five boroughs, all of a sudden there's a huge surcharge. Well, the same thing was true in those days. As soon as he went that 11th parsa, the rate doubled. Why? Again, out of their comfort zone. So the same is true spiritually. How do we know if we're truly being Oved Elohim, serving Hashem, not just by the mitzvahs that we do, but the fact that we are going above and beyond in whatever mitzvah it is, in the realm of tzedakah going beyond your comfort zone, in the realm of love for another, having love for another, even when it's someone we have a very hard time with. When it comes to honoring parents, even in those situations where it's incredibly difficult, we still do it. When it comes to our prayer, going beyond a robotic prayer, but doing it longer and more mindful, schwitzing, really working hard, that is the litmus test whether we are Oved Elohim. I saw something fascinating. Elon Musk was just rated the number one richest person in the world. He uh, over, I guess, got higher than Jeff Bezos. And someone tweeted, you're now number one. And his response was, back to work. That's a very Jewish perspective. As soon as we were feeling good about the mitzvahs that we do, back to work. Because how can I now go above and beyond? That's the true litmus test that I'm an Oyved Elohim. I'm serving Hashem when I go beyond my comfort zone. And I have to dig from deep, deep resources inside of me, as the Tanya will explain in the upcoming chapters. Have a great day. Have a great Shabbos.